what is going on people it is your boy you get comfortable daddy mac and welcome back to another pokemon sword and shield wi-fi battle this is battle number three with the sir shifu team remember we're doing four battles with this team uh we are against sherry he has a pretty cool team um i love the cinder race i love the fact that he's using uh porygon z caesar or and the dragon pulse so this is going to be a showdown um we're both using Rotom Wash. I'm gonna be honest, I kinda wanna start with the Flygon and kinda scout maybe U-turn a little bit. I, I'm gonna predict that he's gonna start with a Zoroark. So right off the bat, I'm just gonna U-turn no matter who he starts with and then capitalize from there. So that's gonna be the strategy starting off. I love your Lee card, Jerry. What I was gonna say is make sure you guys check out the last Wi-Fi battle if you haven't done so. And also, if you guys are a fan of Smash Bros. Ultimate, go check out the videos uh, from Smash Bros. Ultimate. We've only had two so far, but it is awesome. Uh, those battles are pretty cool. All right, so he sends out the Dragon Ball. I'm going to go Flygon. I am Choice Scarf, and as, as tempted as I am to Dragon Claw here, I'm just going to get out of there and U-turn. So I've shown that I'm Choice Scarf. It's the Zoroark, boys. What did I tell you? Okay. So here comes the Zoroark, um, and then I'm going to go out into, um, what do I predict? Tentacruel, since it's the, it's not my special wall. What am I thinking? Okay, so I'm going to go into te Tentacruel here. Uh, I have no choice since I already clicked it, uh, clicked it anyways. He's going to knock me off. Perfectly fine, to be honest. What I'm going to do here, does he have any poison types? He does not. I kind of want to go po uh, Toxic Spikes. But I'm not sure. So what I'm gonna do instead, I'm gonna scald and just get rid of this thing. Get rid of the Zoroark. We outspeed the Zoroark? That's really interesting to be honest. Zoroark goes down. And then who are you gonna go into next, Jerry? You're probably gonna go into nuts. Maybe Sin. I, I, I don't think you're going Cinderace. I would predict Dragapult. Dragapult or okay, I was gonna say Porygon Z because of the Thunderbolt. Uh, this is scary uh, Downloads raises a special attack, right? Or oh, it's attack. That's good news then um, I'm gonna corrosive gas here. No matter what I'm probably gonna go down. I outspeed again Does he not train this Pokemon assault vest, okay psychic probably gonna take me out. That's okay We live We live um, I'm confused a little bit. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna toxic spikes here. I got nothing to lose going for toxic spikes to be honest Toxic spikes here tentacruel. You did your job. Thank you Psychic's gonna knock us out It's interesting that this thing is a assault vest because it's not it doesn't have the best bulk in the world So that, that really in intrigued me a little bit. All right, you already know we're gonna go your boy or shifu here And then we're just gonna bulk up. We're gonna bulk up to start things off here. I mean, worst comes to worst, he goes into, let's say, Cinderace. Wicked Blow is really tempting, though. I'm just going to close combat. I'm just going to... He, he should have switched to Dragapult. Even though Dragapult may not have been optimal because I am also packing the Wicked Blow. So, I guess it was a... Either you, you, you sacrifice the Porygon Z or you sacrifice the Dragapult. And I can see why he stayed into the Porygon Z, given that Dragapult is a little bit more of a valuable Pokemon. So I really can't blame you there, Jerry. Okay. Let me know who the MVP, most valuable Pokemon is in the section down, in the comment section down below. So make sure you guys do that. I'm really, I, I just noticed or Shifu's headband is just kind of floating a little bit. All right, Cinderace is gonna come out. For some reason, it doesn't take any toxic spike damage, but I am going to go into your boy Bro Tom here, and I'm going to fire off the Discharge, try to get this thing to slow down, because Enderace is a fast Pokemon. All right. So we're going to go into Rotom, the Bro Tom. High jump kick, miss. All right, Libero. And we miss, we dodge. There you go, Rotom, the Bro Tom. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, given he's going high jump kick, I'm going to Volt Switch here, and then go into my boy... What? Oh, Toxic Spikes. That's interesting because now that that's not that's not good. That is not good. I'm gonna bolt switch here no matter what. Oh man, I can't believe it. I could have knocked this thing out with this charge. 
I'm gonna go Flygon here. And then, uh, given that he's a normal type, I'm just gonna U turn and go back into Brotom. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna U turn and then go back into Brotom. I outspeed it, so. And we knock it out. I expected for that to knock out. I would have been a little bit surprised if it didn't knock out, to be honest. And then we're gonna go back into Brotom because if he wants to switch into a physical attacker, I'm just gonna Will O Wisp. I'm just gonna Will O Wisp. If he goes into anything else, I'll Volt Switch out of there. If he goes Dragapult, I'm gonna Will O Wisp. So I, I got a plan. I think, I, I think I'm in a pretty good spot with Brotom the Brotom here. Brotom the Brotom. Okay, so you're gonna go Caesar. That's pretty good for me because now I'm gonna Will O Wisp here, and now your Caesar is kind of worthless. It's kind of worthless now. Will O Wisp, it lands, and now this thing is minus two. So if you want to go for his Orc Zance, you can do you can definitely do so if you want. You can do so. Yeah, Sword Dance. That's okay. I'm 100 percent okay with it, to be honest. You do resist the electric typing. Um, I do want to see if I can do some damage with the Hydro Pump, to be honest. Uh, I still kind of need Brotom. I still need you, boy. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to go Volcarona. If you want to use a Bug-type attack, that's okay. I resist the, the still typing with Volcarona, so I got nothing to lose here. Got nothing to lose. Cross Poison. Interesting. That's interesting. Don't poison me. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Because now, we might even set up a Volcarona sweep, I think. We're going to Quiver Dance here. This is more of a Volcarona team than it is in their Shifu team. Oh, Blip Punch has a really cool animation. I've never seen that before. All right, we're going to Quiver Dance. And then, uh, um, maybe predict the Sword Dance. If he wants to try to do damage. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Fiery Dance, if, he, if, if I get a plus two, it's a wrap. It's a wrap if I get a plus two. Fiery Dance, probably gonna go for the Sword Dance. Get the plus, get the plus. Yes! It's a wrap, my boys. That means we got time for another battle. It's a wrap. Because if Hurricane lands on this Dragapult, Dragapult goes down. It's very frail. Rotom the Brotom. Actually, uh... Bug Buzz? Yeah, Bug Buzz. Rotom the Brotom may go down to Bug Buzz also. I outspeed it. I'm at a plus two. Come on. Oh, you're Dynamaxing. That's okay. I'm okay with that. 100% okay with that. Okay, so here comes Giant Brotom. I gotta make sure my quality is okay because last time it kind of it came out kind of pixelated. Okay. Brotom. My, the opposing Brotom. I'll call you... I don't know what I'll call you. Knockout? No, you're probably gonna hit me with a Max Geyser. Volcarona sweep, shut down. Volcarona sweep gets shut down. We we don't we don't live that. I didn't expect to, but I did at the same time, if that makes any sense. So he got his own bro Tom, and I got my own bro Tom. So part of me what is this? Leftovers? Leftovers. Part of me kind of wants to go or Shifu, and the other half of me does not want to go or Shifu. So, what's the play? I think it's Flygon, U-Turn, and then go into Rotom. Yeah, that's the play. That is definitely the play. U-Turn out of here with the boy Flygon. Hopefully it does some damage, and then I'm going to predict the water type attack and go into Rotom. I'll take the damage. It's a crit. That's why. Otherwise, wouldn't wouldn't have done much. All right, so now we go Brotom. I wonder how his Rotom is EV trained. Rotom and Rotom, shiny versus non shiny. I like the shiny better, to be honest. Max Geyser, and I'm gonna take a lot of damage. I thought so. Both of our leftovers pop, so that's good news. I outspeed it, unless it's a speed tie. Unless it's a speed tie. I don't want to go for the hydro pump and I'm gonna tell you why because it resists it So I'm gonna go discharge instead Go for the discharge Hopefully it knocks it out That oh almost it's another crit back-to-back -back crits phantom phantasm I'm going down here I'm not going down here. 
Wow, okay. My special, oh, uh, my defense falls, not my special defense. Not my special defense, okay. Is it worth, I, I think we stay in. We have to stay in. Um, I was, I was gonna say Volt Switch, but I don't think it's worth keeping Rotom. It's not worth keeping Rotom at this point. You did your job also, Rotom, so I'm gonna discharge here. We're dominating this battle, to be honest. We are absolutely dominating. Rotom goes down. Rotom takes the W. There you go. There you go. And then, depending on what comes out, I might Hydro Pump. If it's the uh, uh, Dragapult, I'd probably get out sped and go down. It's Dragapult. It's the shiny Dragapult. And then, um, maybe try to Willow, try to Willow Wisp. Though, I, this probably won't. Yeah, I, I didn't think I would outspeed. Dragon Darks knocks me out. Should I let her Shifu take the W? I'm gonna try it. The rain stopped. Should I overkill and go Gigantamax? I kind of want to do that, but I, uh, that's kind of a kick in the nuts. I don't think I'm gonna do it. I don't think I'm gonna do it. All right, Urshifu comes out. I get poisoned, of course, because of the Toxic Spikes. We played the Toxic Spikes really good. We could blow and just kind of one punch this dude. Dragon darts, I should be able to take it, I think. Yeah, we're taking it, easy, easy. This is the final blow, wicked blow. This, I love this animation, look at this. It's a crit, so it's a guaranteed knockout. There you have it, another battle? Mm. Should we, should we? I kinda wanna have another battle. Yeah, that was a warm up, that was a warm up to me, so. Uh, we're gonna do another battle here That my, my Urshifu punched him so hard his avatar went flying and then uh, they took the picture of his uh, trainer card And that's why it's like that. All right. I'm not taking your lead card, but we're gonna do another battle Okay, so we found another opponent here. Noctis is the name Miltank is a really cool Pokemon to see Lucario. I haven't seen in a while I haven't seen an opposing my Lodic in a while and Mimikyu also Charizard Wow, this guy is bringing a cool team um, I'm gonna go Flygon. Um, yeah, I'm gonna Flygon here, and then I'm gonna U-turn. Uh, probably gonna go Mimikyu, and if he does, I'll predict a play rough and go to Aegislash or Volcarona, possibly even Tentacruel. Probably the Tentacruel. Now that I think about it, and then I'll Scald from there. So if he starts with Mimikyu, that's gonna be the opening play. I love your Lee card. You got that Fire Spirit that. Burning spirit is what it's called not fire spirit. What is wrong with me? So we're against Noctis Noctis again has a really cool team and zero aura comes out, which is uh, a little bit new to me um, I'm not gonna hit earthquake right off the bat As tempted as I am, but What I am gonna do is go for a u-turn here Fake out, okay That gives him some information um, I, I might as well reveal that I'm scarfed and u turn because that's gonna be good information for him Withdraws our aura. Okay, that's good information for me. Then comes my Lodic And now that you're out into my Lodic, I'm gonna go into my bro Tom I'm gonna go out into my bro Tom and I'm gonna discharge. I think I'm gonna discharge. Yeah, that's that might be the play, right? Um, or, or Shifu Scald is gonna hurt Scald is gonna hurt a lot. Rotom or Shifu? Rotom or Shifu? Rotom or Shifu? Oh my goodness, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go Rotom. Then Bolts. He has a Zeraora in the back, so I need to be careful with that. I need to be really careful. So here's what I'm gonna do then. Um, what I am going to do is Hydro Pump, predicting the Zeraora switch. And I hope he does it. I hope he switches out into the Zero Aura. Okay, Zero Aura is coming out. I feel it. And then he's gonna get a Milk Tank? Wow. That that was a little bit of a curveball to me. Okay. I'll Hydro Pump all day. Does it, How much damage does this do? I'll take it. I will take it. Is this a Scarf Tank? Is this a Scarf Tank? Um, if it is, I'm gonna Will O Wisp. I'm gonna Will O Wisp here. Will-O-Wisp. I outspeed this boy. You're probably packing milk drink. 
I, I, I would pack Milk Drink if I were you. I, I would run mine specially defensive, though. All right, Self Rock, perfectly fine for me. So then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go for the Volt Switch. The Burn should offset that, thank goodness. So I'm going to go into the Urshifu. I'm going to Volt Switch and go into Urshifu here. And then I'm going to blow something back with Wicked Blow. That's the play. Okay. Goes back to me. I need to limit my switches a little bit because of the Stealth Rock. It's, uh, lucky for us, Volcarona has the, has the Heavy Duty Boots. But here comes the Yoshifu, who's going to take a little bit of damage. And I'm okay with that. Oh my goodness, Yoshifu is way taller than um, Mil Miltank. Please don't paralyze. Please don't paralyze. Okay, thank goodness. We do outspeed. And if he wants to sacrifice his Mimikyu's... Uh, if he wants to sacrifice Mimikyu's... What's it called? What is it called? Um, disguise? Then that's on him. Wicked Blow is going to knock this thing out. I'll take this. I'll take it all day. Critical hit, as no, as no, as it normally is. And Milk Day goes down. So first KO goes to us, which is really good news. Uh, Shifu uh, took a lot of damage. I'm not going to lie. It took a lot of damage. Took too much damage. Zero Aura comes out. Um, obviously, this thing outspeeds us, and it does have access to play rough. So I think what I am going to do here is go into the Age of Slash. Yeah, I'm going to go Age of Slash here. Just in case it wants to go for close combat, play rough, the electric type move, we call it. I'm going to go Age of Slash. Points. Fake out. Okay, I'll take that. I will take that all day. Um, as far as who you're going to go to, I'm not sure to be honest. So... He does have the Charizard in the back, which I'm a little bit afraid of. I'm a little scared of the Charizard, if I'm being honest. But this isn't going to stop me from maybe Iron Head. No, Shadow Sneak. I'm going to Shadow Sneak here. If you have Earthquake, then you have Earthquake. Mimikyu, please. Yes, yes, Mimikyu. That's good news for us. So, I'm going to hit him with the Shadow Sneak. And then I'm going to go back into my stance form. And then I'm going to go for a King Shield. Unless he's gonna go sword dance. I haven't seen the sword dance mimic you in a while But it is possible It is 100% possible So I'm, I'm just gonna let if he does go for it. I'm just gonna let it just let's go down shadow sneak. Okay Okay, what are you gonna go for are you gonna go for a shadow? Okay, that's what I thought That's what I thought so then what I'm gonna do next Should I king shield? I kind of want to... Yeah, I'm going to King Shield here. If you go for the Shadow Sneak, that's fine. But that's my play. If you go Swords Dance again, I'm going to be a little bit upset. Don't go Swords Dance. Yes, boys! That's great news. That is awesome news. Attack goes down minus one, so now you're only a plus one Mimikyu. I should be able to live a Shadow Sneak from you. And I'm Weakness Policy, so we're staying in no matter what in this next couple turns. All right, triggers my weakness policy. It's a crit, so that might have mattered just a little bit um, as far as the next turns go, but the weakness policy triggers, and this Mimikyu is going down. This Mimikyu is absolutely going down. Oh, I love Aegislash. I, it's such a great Pokemon. It's such a great Pokemon. I've played this Mimikyu very well. I'm actually proud of myself. I'm really proud of myself. So, he's, he can't really go Zero Aura. He might go Charizard. Maybe Lucario. Charizard, okay. This is a Dynamax Charizard. I'm gonna go uh, Shadow Sneak. Shadow Sneak is gonna hurt. I know that for a fact. It's gonna hurt like a Banshee. Alright, you're gonna Dynamax? Okay. I need to be careful with this now. Because I need to play my turns very carefully. I need to play my turns really carefully. So I'm probably going to let him attack me twice, and then I'm going to go into Urshifu, and then just blow him back with something. Try to blow him back with something. Uh, if this thing has max wind stream, I'm, gonna, I'm in big trouble. I'm in big trouble. Shadow Sneak does a good amount of damage. Wildfire, oh, that hurts a lot. That hurts a lot. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do next is go Rotom and then Discharge. 
I'm gonna go Rotom and Discharge because if I get a Paralysis, it's gonna slow down this Charizard. It's gonna slow it down and then well, Windstream isn't gonna matter if he decides to go for it. He probably also packs the uh, Solar Beam. And if he does, I'm in big trouble. If he does, I'm in huge trouble. Hopefully he doesn't. Wormwind. This is the Dragon type attack. Okay, that's good information. We take it, minus one in attack, which is, I'll, I'll take that. But please, Rotom, paralyze this Charizard. Please. Please, please, please. Yes! Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, we get some damage, but that's a 100% okay. Rotom, you have not let me down these past three battles. I absolutely love you. Okay, this charge should knock out this Megatron. Wow, what a sequence. What a sequence. Oh my goodness, that Charizard cry is beautiful. It is beautiful. I still need to find a way to play around the Zero Aura. I mean, again, I do have Flygon. My opponent does not know I'm Scarfed. So that's something there. If he goes there, Aura, I'm in, I'm in a little bit of a trouble. I'm in, I'm in a little bit of trouble. Um, what do I do here? Do I let him fake me out? Do I let him fake me out? To be honest, I don't think Tentacle is necessary anymore. Let's see. It has called. Because to an extent, Rotom is still valuable. Am I max speed? I don't think I'm max speed. I, Yeah, I'm not max speed. No. I'm like 2-8. I don't remember my EV spread. Um, I'm just going to take the fake out and Will-O-Wisp here. Take the fake out. Wildfire is probably going to do... Yeah, it's going to finish me. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to Flygon. And then I'm going to U-turn out of there. Flygon's going to be a win con because it threatens the Lucario and it threatens the Zero Aura. So I'm going to U-turn. If you withdraw, you withdraw. Yeah, you withdraw. Okay, so it's a good thing that he keeps hard switching out because um, Zero is just going to... It's Flygon's going to outspeed Zero Aura. That's the bottom line. Okay, now we're going to go into our Shifu, and we're going to blow this thing back with the Wicked Blow. I'm going to blow this thing back with the Wicked Blow. I kind of want a Dynamax, to be honest. But I don't think we're going to do it quite yet, because I need this Wicked Blow to do some damage. Wicked Blow? Come on. Come on. Knock it out. Oh, no. It barely lives. Recover? Scald. Okay. To be honest, we probably don't have enough. If he goes there, or I'm going to Dynamax. Because I'm going to predict the fake, the fake out right then and there. I'm going to predict the fake out right then and there if he goes there, Aura. And then I'm going to Dynamax for literally one turn. And I'm going to hit you with a, a, single, a single strike. I think it's what it's called. Alright, Lucario comes out. I'm still going to Dynamax, and I'm going to Max Knuckle here. It's my turn to Dynamax. It's kind of a weight of a Dynamax in a way, but again, Urshifu is the only Pokemon in my team that has Max Candies. Uh, max Dynamax Candies at a level 10 Dynamax. Mmm. Beautiful Urshifu. I think this is the first time I've used Gigantamax uh, Single Strike Urshifu. It's beautiful. I love the color scheme. I like the blue one better because blue is one of my, it's my favorite color other, other than black. But still, red is right up there also. Lucario with the Focus Sash. Lucario with the Focus Sash. That's a little bit of a problem because it's either going to Nasty Plot or it's either going to Swords Dance. And whichever it goes to, it's a problem. Swords Dance, okay. And I don't got priority left, so that's a problem. It's a big problem. Uh, Max Knuckle. I wish I had Sucker Punch. Extreme Speed knocks me out. Okay. So my next best bet 
is to go into Tentacruel because I resist the steel and I resist the fighting type. And then uh, hopefully I'm bulky enough to live a an extreme speed from this thing. And go from there. Okay, so we take some damage because of the Stealth Rock, which is a little bit of a bummer. But it's time to Scald. It's time to Scald. Oh, Lucario is such a beautiful Pokemon. I messed with a little bit of, a, of setting, so hopefully it, you guys can see how beautiful it is. Okay, we take it. Scald knocks this thing out. And then Zerora is basically checked. I, I think I won this battle. I think I won this battle. I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch, but I feel like I won. Especially that he Dynamaxed or Gigantamaxed his Charizard. It's a wrap because now Zerora can't Dynamax. It's a wrap. You probably knock out my Tentacruel, and I'm going to let you do it. I'm going to Corrosive Gas here just to scout what item you have. Ah, fake me out. And then I'm going down next turn. Oh, what? I'm bleeding? What happened? Where am I bleeding from? That is interesting. Okay, um, Corrosive Gas. We're just going to let Tentacruel go down. Plasma Fist. Really cool animation. I prefer regular Zorora than Shiny, to be honest. Imagine we're bulky enough to live that. Imagine. Okay, so we go down. And then... We're going to Flygon here. Just in case this thing is bulky enough to live... I'm gonna U-turn, just in case. U-turn. I'm kind of nervous, to be honest. I'm really nervous. I'm gonna U-turn, so I show that I show that I'm faster than you, and it's a wrap because next turn you're gonna go down. Volcarona probably gonna get hit by the plasma fist. No, I don't think so. Probably like close combat, maybe. Blaze kick. Oh, okay. Wow, that's some damn. It's a crit. That's why. You outspeed us, uh, so Volcaron is gonna go down. Unfortunately. What item are you running? That's interesting. Volcaron is going down. Blaze kick again. It hits me. Volcaron didn't get to do much in this battle, but it was. It's still good nevertheless. All right, flag on. And then Flygon should knock this thing out with an Earthquake. Flygon for the W! Flygon's one of my favorite Pokemon. I cannot believe it. All right, Earthquake, it knocks this thing out. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. It came down to the wire. This was a good battle. This was a really good battle. That was, I'm taking your, your lead card. One, two, nothing. I'm the Pokemon champion. I'm the Pokemon master. I am the Pokemon master. I've lost a couple times, especially to fall, fall. I must say, and I mentioned this in every video, the battle I had with fall, with Falling, probably the worst L I've ever taken, ever. And I'm still salty about that. And that battle happened like a month or two ago. I'm gonna take your lead card because it's awesome and you had a good, uh, good team. But there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys leave a like if you guys enjoyed this battle. Comment down below on your thoughts about the battle and subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield videos. I will see you guys next time. Again, thank you guys so much for watching.